Most of the farmland here on the Somerset Moors near Langport have been flooded on and off since April, causing massive issues for livestock producers in the area. Dairy farmer Barry Bryer has never seen conditions so bad and has struggled with forage supplies this season. This is the worst conditions I've seen in 70 years in the area and uh, the, certainly the worst on the farm that I've been in for 31 years. It's just repetition. We've had no evaporation loss all summer, therefore uh, the water that's come has just piled up on top of what was there before. It hasn't been able to get away. And uh, if we don't have a, a dry top to the moor, you can't get on with a vehicle. Excessive rainfall has caused the River Parrot to burst its banks where it meets the tone at Borough Bridge, making much of the surrounding land unmanageable. Half the farm has been unfarmable, and uh, the other half has been farmed with difficulty. Um, we haven't been able to make any hay. Um, we have got silage, uh, around bale silage, we've been able to cut on some of it, and uh, much of that is still out in the fields. Um, We've been able to make our normal silage, but only take one cut because the cows had to graze what would have been second and third cuts. There, there's about a 50 acres that we haven't been able to do anything with at all. Other people about who have got hay bales out, which are really saturated now, and uh, they're, they're having to buy in hay, seeing fodder out in the fields, and they can't get at it. We have sold some of our cows to make sure that we had enough forage left for the winter. I think we should be able to survive, um, but I think there's a lot of beef uh, farmers uh, who won't be able to survive. The Environment Agency has said it will take steps to dredge the parrot later in the year, but Mr Bryars is one of many farmers calling for immediate action to alleviate the immense stress flooding has caused to the farming community. This is Ali Balsam reporting for Farmers Weekly from the Somerset Moors.